thinking, all right, here's another new section. This is the advice column. It's called Ask Bill. Isn't that clever? Um, I know I'm a fucking moron, and I don't know shit. So if you guys think I'm giving somebody bad advice, please let me know. Um, and I, I will pass on your advice the following week because I don't need this responsibility. But here we go. Here's this person's uh, question for the week. Hey, Bill, I was hoping to get your advice on a girl. Uh, this past summer, I met a girl through a friend. She's pretty much the cutest girl I've ever seen. We hung out with the three of us for a whole week until my friend left for the Army. But me and the girl, we kept hanging out. Problem is, is she's dumb as a brick. <laughs> and she's a huge pothead. I'm not into that stuff myself, so it's kind of weird. She's cute, though, so I put up with it. And plus, she's pretty funny. So anyways, I take her to Canopy Lake Park, uh, which is an amusement park in Salem, Massachusetts. Uh, I pay for her there. I take her to the movies and out to eat. It, uh, and I, I guess evidently he's paying for all of that. But he says, but if she gets any money, it goes to her pot. And I'm thinking this is going somewhere, but it goes nowhere for a few more weeks. So I stopped talking to her for about six months until last week. So I guess when he thinks he thinks it's going somewhere, he means they're going to hook up, but they never hooked up. So he, anyways, the dude stops talking to her for two, for six weeks, six months, I'm sorry. So anyways, uh, he, he goes on to say, I ran into her mom, which led me to having to go hang out with her again through a long story. So anyways, I'm in the same boat again with her. She keeps calling me, but there's nothing to do. All she wants to do is get high and drive around. I've avoided her calls the past two days. What should I do? Ride it out and hope something goes into the bedroom or ditch her again. Uh, dude, um, the best way to explain this is to rent that Chris Rock special where he does that joke about being in the friend zone. You know, you're just a friend right now. She's fucking using you. All right. Um, you're not going to hook up with her. Basically, you made the right move the first time. You somehow got into that friend zone thing, and she and you know you were paying for everything, and nothing was happening, and then you stopped talking to her for six months, okay? And the thing is, when you do that, the next time you see him, that's when you come back to town like fucking uh, Mickey Rourke in Rumblefish. You got to come back with that vibe. Like, all of a sudden, you're dangerous, you're fucking motorcycle boy, and everything leads to you fucking, you know, putting her on her back with the legs in the air. Because you, you, you went right back to doing what the fuck you did before. You know, you're hanging out with her. It's not going to, I'm going to tell you, dude, it's not going to happen with this girl. It's over. All right? So, yeah. I mean, what, 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 what are you going to do with her? Keep paying for her weed? Taking her to movies? Fuck that. This is what you need to do. You need to go to your local meat market, all right, wherever all the skanks hang out. And what you got to do is you just just hit on a bunch of girls that you don't give a shit about. It's kind of like as a comedian doing open mics where, you know, once you've established yourself, if you go in and you're doing an open mic, it doesn't matter if you bomb. You know you got an act. You're just trying out shit, seeing what the fuck works. So if you hit on a bunch of girls that you don't give a fuck about, then you don't give a shit when they shut you down, and that kind of toughens you up. And you basically, you got to come up, you haven't figured out what it is that you need to do to get a girl, like, in bed. You know what I mean? You got to figure out whatever the fuck works for you. You know, is it being an obnoxious ass? Uh, I, I don't know what. But just go hit on a bunch of skanks and say a bunch of shit that you would never say to anybody that you would respect. Okay. And I know women probably don't like this, but it's what guys have to do. And I don't want to hear any any women giving me shit about that because you have no fucking idea what we go through. And that's why there's the double standard of the whore and the stud. Women have forever asked that question going, you know, how come if a guy does it, he's a stud? And if a woman does it, she's a whore. I'll tell you why. Because there's no skill in a woman getting laid and getting laid. You know what I mean? For a guy to hook up, it's a skill. You have to convince somebody to fuck you. Women, all you have to do is show up, all right? And that's why, you know, I think I told this story, but you know, it's like, it's like watching a fat guy eat a fucking ice cream, you know, and listening to him bitch about it. 
How come when I eat ice cream in public, everybody's like, oh, what a fat fuck? Because it's gluttonous. It's gluttonous. That's why. That's why nobody respects women. You know? That's why nobody respects, you know? I re- you know something? I, this is what, I, I respect Madonna right now because Madonna is long past her fucking years. I mean, that chick is, is coming up on menopause, and she's still got guys rubbing one out. So, I mean, you got to respect that. That's like, you know... She, and she still, it, it's still not as hard for her at 50 to get laid as it is for this fucking guy going to Canopy Lake Park with this fucking gorgeous girl. I feel for you, man. I feel for you, but let her go. Fuck that. You know, you're setting yourself up to be like that dude in, in Goodfellas. You know, when Scorsese's mom tells that joke and she said, you're always talking, it sounds better in Italian. And Joe Pesci explains it. What does it mean? It means that he's content to be a jerk. You don't want to be that guy. You don't want to be that guy content to be a jerk. Fuck her, all right? And if she calls you up, just be honest with her. Just say, look, you know, I'm looking for some, uh, uh, you know, don't listen to me this part because I don't, I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to say it right. I was going to say I'm looking for something more, but that sounds gay. You can't say that. How do you say, look, I want to bang you and you're not banging me. So other than that, I'm just buying you weed. So what the fuck? You know, you got to find a, the right way to say that. <laughs> Dude, just let her go. Just fucking let her go. All right. Questions for the week. Uh, oh, and don't get yourself involved in that situation again. You understand me? Well, you'll have uh, 14 listeners to answer to. All right. Questions. Hey.